Today I am checking out this gooseneck plate that locks the end of your gooseneck. So I was sent this at no cost so I can do this review, but what I needed was a lock that would lock the actual gooseneck part of my hitch so people when they look at my gooseneck know, hey, let's not mess with that trailer. It's actually got a lock on it versus people that just don't even lock up their goosenecks. Around here where I'm at, out in the country, if you don't lock up your trailers, they disappear. So I'm gonna be putting this lock on my trailer and we're gonna see how well this does. But let's get it out of the box and check it out. So this is what you're gonna get when you get out of the box. You're gonna get this really, you know, and I'm actually pretty impressed. That's a pretty heavy sheet of metal there that was put together to make this. I mean, the welds are nice and smooth in the end. It's got a nice powder coat. I don't believe I'm gonna to have to deal with rust issues or any problems like that. Now, what this does is this slides over the end of your gooseneck hitch and then you put a pin in it. So this will go over, you know, like it shows here in the manual. It comes with the manual and this long pin and the keys. So as you see here, this is the part that I got and it slips over the bottom and then you put the pin in it so nobody can get this off. So this isn't just your little ball cover. I mean, this thing really is a nice big chunk of metal that goes over that. So even if someone is professional and they know how to get these things through, they're gonna be playing with this for a little bit to try to get this thing and, and get through it. This part up here is an optional piece that I did not get that covers the bolts to keep people from actually switching out your hitch. So that part is not the part this is. This is this part of the manual down here where it's the plate that comes with this really long pin. As you can see here, it needs to go across this really long box. And of course you choose the hole that is the tightest when you put this on. If you can't get it in the first hole, then you put it in the second, but you want it to be as tight as you can to keep it from being loose. And then of course you're going to need some keys. So comes with the keys to take this off. But the best way to show you this is to use it. Let's go put this on the gooseneck. All right, so I'm out here today with my gooseneck flatbed, and I'm gonna show you how to put on this large plate lock. First thing you do is you slip it over the hitch part of the gooseneck. So now that's all the way pushed over. Then you take the pin and you slide it into the closest hole on your gooseneck. So since this one will be the closest for it to rest easy on there, that's what I'm using. Then of course you take this portion of your pin that you've opened up with the key, slip it over the end of the pin, and then you just push the button on the lock, put the weather cover over your lock to protect it, put your keys up so you don't lose them. And now you've got a big massive block of metal that's going over your hitch that someone's gonna have to work through this to try to get to your hitch or try to take your trailer. So this just gives you that extra protection that you would need to keep someone from taking it. Now, this is a universal cover. Mine is an older trailer. I think this is a 98 model. And I think some of these gooseneck hitches are actually bigger now and, and round, different shapes. So it does have the extra room for you to be able to accommodate bigger hitches. But even with mine that's relatively small, I mean, even if they try to spin it around, I don't see any way for them to wiggle that thing off. So definitely gonna stay on the trailer and I hope this information was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all take care.